Ben Tonati, welcome to our back to our program. Well, just as important as it is to get that perfect gift, it's just as important to have the perfect sweets on your table for the holidays, for Christmas. And to give us some great advice on not only what we should be presenting on our tables, but even showing us how to create some of these incredible sweets. I'm very pleased to have with you the pasticciere. Tony is here from La Strada. Thank you, Andrea. So great to have you here. Thank you for having us. It's so, a pleasure. I mean, I know this is your business, but and this is what you do for as your passion is for a living, but would you agree that you know what we present at the table is just as important as, well, of course. as the rest of it all? In the older Italian generation, when you had company over, you gave food. Yes. Food was a showing appreciation and love for those people. Absolutely. So it's very important, and having the right one as well. And over the, I mean, over the course of, of the years, we have so many of the, of the year. There's so many different events that we have. Sweets for our dessert special, but for the holidays we have specific ones, yes, we right? Do. Before we get to this, I want to talk a little bit about La Strada because it has quite a history. Yes. Tell me about, about well, the beginnings of La Strada. We've started in the 50s mm -hmm. with the bakery, my parents. So it's been over 50 years that we've been doing everything the old traditional ways, baked from scratch, yes. all natural products. So we do our panettones at Christmas. Yes. We do our torrones, our torronginos, crostoli, susumelli, all the old traditions, traditions that are being lost because so having having had the the bakery in your family for so long was it something that was it was natural like yes. it's, it's in your blood exactly. this is something that you needed exactly. to do an extension it's of just yourself a, it's the second generation absolutely going, going around yes. again absolutely so we're trying to keep all the traditions yes. that we grew up i grew up as a little kid yeah. with these traditions from grandparents so tell me then so we're talking about keeping it very authentic in a way exactly. so how do you do that because so much time has gone by do you have i mean have you visited parts of where of italy where you create some of these things or it, they're all old recipes all from old recipes grandparents and my parents grandparents and we just keep and you keep them, them authentic and, and sometimes revise some of them exactly okay. okay all right so let's get to it let's take a look quickly you have um you know you have your your biscottis for the holidays right biscotti for the holidays and all a, a range of different types of biscottis with almonds with uh, nutellas and chocolates uh, Biscotti della nonna, which is another old. Is this this is that that's, one? That's that and one. And this is one of my favorites. Yes. So what what is it? What's it? What's inside? Is it the, lemon the, it's the lemon, right? Yes. It's one of my. I'm gonna put this right here. I'm taking that with me. Okay. So let's talk about what else we have. These are our tordilli and our scaliddi. Okay. Uh, traditionally, some people fry them. We bake our tordilli and okay. we fry our scaliddi. Okay. And you can dip them in a, a fig honey yes. or you can do them in icing. Okay, so let's get to the tordilli because that's what we're making here today. That's what yes. you're getting me to make today, of course. right? And I understand, I see this. Is this for me? That's for I see, you. I'm gonna be getting my uh, my myself in, involved. I, I think I could do a pretty good job. I'm gonna try. All right, so I got my nice, my nice apron here. We'll just leave it like that. There we go. Okay, so tell me about the tordilli. What is the story behind well, this? Well, the tordilli were being made prior to World War II. Okay. So people used to grow, live off the lands with the olives and everything. That was their substance of life. Okay. So the tordilli at Christmas were made um, and they were dipped in the honey. And okay. the honey brought the sweetness, sweetness to the cookie. To and they're made with the wine. Some people would put an orange zest in it or some cinnamon. Um, the, the whole story of the Tordidli is that it brought fortune in the new year oh, for the people. Oh, yes, okay, and we all could use a little bit of that, right? Yes, we can. So here, we're gonna help me, we're gonna, we're gonna show me how to start. So we're gonna start with this, right? Yes. So, so tell, me, tell me about this, go ahead, I'll you, let you do it and then I'll you follow your lead. just take a little bit of dough. Okay, so okay. what's in the dough again? There's white wine. Okay. And orange zest. Okay, and that's it? And, that's and then it's regular dough? Regular dough, so you knead the dough a little bit to make it moldable okay and we'll roll it out into little pieces okay so let me so okay. i gotta grab a little piece yes yeah, so See grab here. a little piece and then you is that too much is that no, good perfect That's good okay so i'm rolling it and then i'm going to make it look like a little like a torpedo exactly okay okay i think is that good that's great <laughs> it's kind of falling apart a little bit but okay there we go okay now what and then you just We'll cut them in little pieces. Oh, and, oh, that's it. That's it. So cut them in little pieces. That's so simple. Yeah, not so very difficult. Not at all. No. But for me, it's the it's the it's the story behind it that well, is so significant, right? Yes. 
And then what would you do after that? And then um, traditionally they used to do them with a fork. Okay. Okay. Now we have. We're all high tech now. So then you would just get a little piece and you'd roll it out. That's wow. Okay, and that like would that. Be Let's see. Your tortilla with your fingers, and that's it. I don't. Okay, is that okay? They How don't many? Need to be perfect. Well, with me, that's probably what you're getting when it comes to making desserts. It's probably right. what you're going to get. But it's the whole sweet. The whole sweet. Perfect. And so after that, you, you bake, bake them, them, and this is what you're Some coming up with. Some people fry them. Okay, and so you're coming them. up with that. So that's the end result. So what, what would you do after this is baked? After they're baked, you yeah. warm up your fig honey. Okay. Is that what you have here? And that's what we have in this bowl. Okay. And then you can pick one up. Okay. And you dip them in. So we'll move some over. Okay. And then we'll, you throw them in, roll them around. Very nice. And you, uh, you so you've been, so you're, it's been in your business, your family for that long, and you've yes. been, I'll try one, and you've been doing and then it. you sprinkle a little Did sugar. you learn, you learn this all from your family? Yes. It's a second the, generation. Do you, have, you have, as a little boy, in, well, in, in I grew the, up in the you grew up in it, right? Basically, yes. Very nice. And so, and then you finish it off with a little and bit of sugar. With sugar. Some people like to put some of uh, Christmas candies. So, what would you say? So, are these are these some of the things that we would that you recommend on your Christmas table? On Christmas, bring these. Your tortilla, your scalidi, uh the panettone. Our torrone is very good as well. Okay. We make our own torrone, the crocante, and the and the toronginos, okay, which so, are things you don't see anymore. No, and speaking of the panettone, you know, you make the panettone yourself. I mean, it's a, is it, what's the, what's the, the, the work like to create something like this it, yourself? It's a, it's a two to three day process, depending really? on how you do it. Really? We do it with all butter and we don't use any yeast in our panettone. So it's okay. the natural sours that make the panettone grow. Okay. That's why it has such a different flavor. Uh, also, a lot of people go for our cannoli. Sicilian cannoli, because yes. Because they are just, that's just they're amazing. They're just amazing. And we, ma <laughs> we, we manufacture our own shells as well, so yes. they're quite different than most. Excellent, excellent. And one of my daughter's favorites is right here. The peaches. The peaches. And one of my daughter's favorites. Right here. There you go. Well, that's fantastic. I, I want to thank you so much for coming on well, our program you. today and, and showcasing not only the great array of, 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 of sweets that you have at La Strada, but also teaching us that we can do something like this as well, and especially baking it. It's, it's easy. Put it in the oven. You don't have to worry about anything. Yeah. How long do you bake it for? Uh, about 15 to 20 minutes. That's it, 15 to 20 minutes. So simple. Thank you very much for Thank being here today. Much. I appreciate Pleasure. that. Will you try one? Oh, I will try one. Will you join me in having a, a, a suite of some kind? As we say, Thank you so much. We're going to yes, go I now will. to some uh, we're going to commercials. When we come back, we'll be more with Fresh Food and John Lombardi. Don't go away. I'll let you know how it is. Thank Cheers. Thank you. Cheers. Perfect. Perfect. Thank you.